find you Virgus Flymouth. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. Please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new videos. Hello, Raydrops. I am in Royal High, and I have some really exciting sneak peeks to share with you about Campus 4. And Bianchi has been working super hard. There's so much that he's finished that I want to share with you, and there are some things that obviously are not finished yet, but he's been able to get a lot of work done recently, so I'm going to share all of that with you and show some Halloween sneak peeks that he showed on accident in his stream that you will be excited about as well. Okay, let's take a look. So he was showing Meg around the map. So I thought this would be a great one for you to see with everything he's done. This is the um, classroom building and you can see it is confirmed. He is completely finished with the outside. The only thing that is left to do is to script all of the classes. Then he built this beautiful castle wall. It just makes everything feel so much more magical and just like we're in this area of this special school that, you know, only super royal people are invited to. So you can see, obviously, here are the dorms as well. I'm not 100% sure they're finished. They look finished and I haven't seen him add anything else to that. And then we have the fountain, of course, which has been finished for a while. And we know we can confirm it works because we've seen him push the button. So this area is just absolutely beautiful. I love that he has pretty much gotten all that finished from what we can tell. And then they're working on a new area, which I am so excited to show you that he was working on a stream. Look at this. This is the school office. They've been adding so much to that. The bell tower is now higher. There's now another level here. And that's what he's been working on for the last couple of days. You can see all of the details that he's added. Up at the top is the teacher's lounge. And then you can see the hot tub. And then there's like an outdoor area here as well. And then they started working down here. You can see that there are basketball goals up there. So Barbie was actually in the stream. I know Barbie has been sick, but Barbie is still actually working and was working on the basketball courts in this area here at the bottom. You can see the potionology room is already there and it is completed as well. Um, the top area is not. Here's a closer look at the basketball court. It looks great and I think she's finished with this top area. Um, I don't know exactly what would be left for that. And then they were working on the bottom area, which I thought was going to be the gymnasium, but now I don't think so because at the bottom there was like some kind of garage area. But before we see that, I wanted to show you this little path here that I think just feels so magical. I love it. It's like probably my favorite area actually to go to. You just run back behind these buildings. Of course, when they add this building here for the library and coffee shop, it'll feel a little different. But I think the path is just the cutest thing ever. And of course, it leads to this area over here that I have shown you before in previous videos where you can come do like a tea party. There's a piano. There's lots of seating. Um, there's this little bar that you can walk up to. So I feel like this is going to be a cute role play area. And of course, there's the gazebo and it leads right to the beach and ocean. So super cute. So you can see there's still a lot to work on. He worked on a lot of the ground here. The cafeteria is still not finished. The library coffee shop is not finished. Um, so let's look. I need to know, guys. This is driving me crazy. What is this building? I cannot figure it out. The only thing I could think of is possibly the ballroom. But with all those little extra rooms on the side, I'm not totally sure it could be dressing rooms. But I, I have no idea. Let me know in the comments what you think this is because I, I don't know. I can't figure it out. The school store is already here. So I know it's not that. So here's another look at the front of the office. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Like all of the details that he has added, the little dome, the, the part that says home of the Valkyries. Now let's take a look at what Barbie was working on underneath the basketball court. So it says that this is supposed to be a surf slash skate shop. 
I think, unless they add another part onto it, but I don't see that happening. You can see Vianchi is adding lights in here um, and then some piping to make it this industrial look, which is what Barbie wanted. And I'll show you that screenshot in a minute, but Vianchi is walking around. You can see that right there it says put a yoga studio and a skate slash surf shop on it. So that's what they're working on right now, or really Barbie. That, I think, is her main focus for now. But they wanted to have an industrial look, which I'm not totally sure about because it doesn't really go with everything else they're doing. And then Vianchi decided to come and look in, and this is what Barbie had added so far. You can see the surfboards and, of course, obviously the different sized avatars here as well. And then I don't know why there are the... Um, areas with the height measurement but you can see Bianchi grabs a sign from it and it says Royal High Police Department and that's something we've never seen before so I'm not sure if they're going to add something like that on but I thought that was very interesting to see so maybe that's a sneak peek for things to come I'm not sure and then of course here's where Bianchi was working a lot um, trying to finish up this building adding in the teacher's lounge but everything looks great. I am super excited about Campus 4. I know we don't have Campus 3 yet, but just seeing all of this hard work and all of these things that are coming, it just makes me really, really want to go ahead and start Campus 4, even though I know they're not quite finished. But it's just looking so magical. I can't wait to see. So you can see a lot of it is finished. Now this area right here is the secret area that they have blocked off by this big blue wall. And that's where Bianchi was grabbing some of the items from for the build. And Bianchi would cover or hide his screen every time he went inside there. Except a couple of times, which is where I grabbed a couple of screenshots from. But here's another look at what they're doing so far. The school store is on the right. We have the basketball court with that special surf shop area at the bottom. And then you can see that Barbie is checking up on all of the other stuff that has been completed so far. And look at the mountains in the background. Doesn't that look so magical? And that's a look, obviously, of where the personality class is going to be. It's just, this place is getting incredibly huge, so I'm interested to see how that's going to work out, because we're used to having things more in one place, so I'm not sure. There's the building, again, that I have no idea what it is. I don't think that's the permanent spot for it. I think they just kind of have it there for now as a placeholder spot, but we'll see where they decide to move that later. Now, here are some pictures I wanted to share and talk a little bit more in depth about. So you can see the location of where everything is at so far. This is the office building. We have the classrooms right there at the bottom left corner. We have the school store. We have the um, basketball courts now. There's the lighthouse. And we also see this little area to the left that Barbie just added that you know, she never really went over to, but it looks like a parking lot. But it also looks like it could possibly be like a drive-in movie theater. So I'm not 100% sure if it's just going to be a parking lot or if that big black screen is going to represent like drive-in movies and they're going to have things playing there. I'm not sure, but you can see the cars and also there are the golf carts sitting there as well. Um, Bianchi did get in one of the golf carts and it is like super small sized. So you stick out. So I'm not sure if they're really going to plan on using those, but it was drivable. So we'll see in the future what that turns into. Here's a closer look at the golf cart, which is sitting in front of the office building. It's not the best quality. Sorry about that. But like I said, it is smaller. You can see the garden in the background definitely is a lot taller than that. So I don't know if that's going to be something we'll get to drive around in or not. But I know a lot of campuses use things like golf carts and scooters to get around in, especially at universities. So. Maybe that's what it's going to be for. I don't know. And then this area was above the basketball courts. It is actually water. And Bianchi was kind of going around it, but then would hide his screen when he would go up really close to it. So I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. So it's definitely something they're trying to keep secret for now. 
So let's review what has been worked on so far. Obviously, we have the dorms in the back area here. We have that building on the right that I have no idea what it could be. The school store is there. Obviously, this big building right here in the front is the office that has um, the teacher's lounge and stuff in it. And here's a different angle to show you some of the other things. So we have the fountain at the top with the bell tower here at the office. Um, on the right side, there is the classroom building that has the math, computer, dance, art, detention, and rainy day so far. Then we have the school store. And then we have the secret area that they were blocking off, but we can tell has some evening fall stuff there. We already have the office that includes the nurse, counselors, headmistress, and teacher's lounge. We have the cafeteria that's unfinished, the potionology class that's already finished. But on top of that, the library and the coffee shop that is not finished yet. And then the newly added basketball courts with the yoga studio at the bottom that's not finished. The surf and skate shop that is not finished yet. So there's a lot that still needs to be worked on and that they're adding. Um, every time I watch the stream, they're adding more and more stuff. So it's interesting to see where they go with that. Um, I want to show you, though... Lastly, the sneak peek of the evening fall area over here that I was able to catch a glimpse of. So Vianchi wanted to grab some of the fencing from this area. And so he tried to keep his screen down low. You can see at the top, he is right in front of that blue wall there. And you can see that when he is flying around, it has the evening fall GUI on there. But if you look at the top, you can definitely see pumpkin patch. And then on the right... I'm not sure, but it looks like some cloaks, possibly. It's hard to tell for sure, but I couldn't see anything else attached to it. But I wanted to show you this little sneak peek because it is very interesting. And I can't wait to see what it's going to be. So here's a little bit closer look. You can see up there, it definitely is going to be the pumpkin patch. A lot of people are thinking in Bianchi's stream that... Campus 4 will come out with the evening fall update, but obviously I'm not sure that's going to be possible because there's so much still left to do. But who knows, because they are really building quickly. And here's another closer look at those cloaks that I could see. So we'll have to see what that brings. And then also, Vianchi showed this. It is another GUI, and it says Pumpkin Patch Harvest, and it shows the new quest where you're going to pick the biggest pumpkin you can and then find it and bring it to a scale under the tent to lock it in. So you can also see the schedule and a time up there. So it's exciting to know that there's going to be a new quest um, to do in the evening fall. So lots of chair, I know. So much going on. I can't wait to see Bianchi stream again. He's such an amazing builder, and I truly love just to sit and watch because me, myself, I would love to learn how to do that. It just seems amazing. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to reach 8,000 subscribers. And it definitely helps us to be able to put out more videos on Royal High and other games. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you later. Bye, Ray Drops. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.